So right back there is our uh, our maple maple sugar bush. Um, we've been collecting sap the old-fashioned way in buckets and just kind of carrying them over here because we don't have a whole lot. You just bring them into our house and pour them through a filter, which can be a tea towel. Come on into our house. This is the official high-tech Cameron Forsyth uh, kitchen kitchen stove uh, serving operation. Take a close look. There's basically two things you need before you start out. If I'm going to recommend this to anybody, one is a gas stove. Not an electric stove. I wouldn't bother trying this. I don't know. It might work, I suppose, but I wouldn't want to use that much electricity. The second is a range hood on high because you want to get all that sticky steam out of your house. Now, boiling syrup in your kitchen gets a bad rap for exactly that reason. That if you do it for uh, a day or two or three straight, uh, basically the walls of your house get all sticky if the steam drips around. That's why uh, they have those uh, <coughs> cute little cupolas on top of sugar houses is so the steam can escape. But a gas stove and a range hood uh, is all you really need to get enough of the steam out of the house. And yeah, if you have a partner, they better be tolerant or supportive of this operation. Now you can spend a lot of money on those little hobby evaporators that are about two or three feet square. You can spend a thousand or two thousand dollars on stainless steel. I spent about forty five dollars on my equipment here. Um, oh, probably fifty five altogether over the years. What we got for an evaporator is a broiler pan with a with a lid. That's all there is to it. You pick them up for about 25 bucks, 25 or 30 bucks at any discount cookware store, and it's got to be rectangular. Otherwise, don't bother. Don't bother with the oval-shaped ones. Now, this suspicious-looking piece of equipment here is uh, just a preheater. That's for. I'm not uh, put, putting any sap in right now, but if I was, I just. Pour it, pour it in the top end, and by the time it came out of the coils at the bottom, it would be warm. And that way, warm or perhaps even hot, and that way, the uh, it wouldn't kill the boil like pouring cold sap straight into the pan would be. So the sequence of events here is that on the left is the sap pan where we pour in the raw sap. We've just filtered it all, filtered it out of. Uh, major imperfections. Pour it in, get it get it to a good boil, and on this side, we move it to this side. This is the syrup pan. This is where it's getting concentrated, and you can see this is the old way. You can, you can see the color that it's getting on. This has been boiling for a number of hours, and I'm getting, getting close to taking this one off. I'm going to take syrup out of this pan. I'm not going to add any more sap to it. I'm just going to let it boil down. Until I'm done, then I'm going to filter it into that stainless steel cauldron, and at the end of that, I'll have uh, at least a couple of liters of nice maple syrup, like that. And that's the finished product, and that's why my family puts up with this nonsense. <laughs>